Hello, this is Michelle Drake reporting from the Situation Room, which is actually the community room here at Marin County Office of Education in Marin County, California. Welcome. As a member of the Rethinking Schools Task Force, we are diligently working on protocols and procedures to return our amazing students and staff back to classroom site-based instruction in the age of COVID under public health guidance. Today, we will be going through very important protocols and procedures on cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting, and PPE. Now, I'd like to introduce you to two people who will be guiding us through our learning today, Chris Jacobson and Chris Pasquin. Let's go meet them. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Chris Jacobson. I'm a maintenance supervisor here with Marin County Office of Education. And today we're gonna to be covering uh, how to properly wear PPE, what PPE to use uh, when cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting non-porous services at your site. Hi, my name is Chris Pasquin, and I'm with Fishman Supply Company. I'm an account manager and serve most of the North Bay. I specialize in the education sector, and I service several schools and universities throughout the area. I look forward to working with Chris today. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to get started. PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. Generally speaking, whenever handling sanitizers and disinfectants, wear protective eyewear, gloves, and a mask or a face covering. Gloves should be worn when cleaning up bodily substances, when applying spray sanitizers, and any time disinfectants are being handled. It is recommended that you use rubber or other impervious gloves, such as these single-use vinyl gloves. As always, wash your hands after removing gloves. Follow blood-borne pathogen guidelines when removing and disposing of gloves contaminated with bodily fluid. So a question we've been hearing a lot recently is what is the difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting? Let's find out. Cleaning is accomplished by using a detergent and water to mechanically wash an item followed by a thorough rinsing. Cleaning removes bulk quantities of pathogens and the materials they may be attached to, such as dust, dirt, and fluids. Cleaning can be performed on solid or porous surfaces. You may want to wear gloves depending upon the nature of the cleanup. Sanitizing refers to the application of a chemical solution that kills enough germs on a surface to make it safe for human contact. Such sanitizers can only be used on non-porous surfaces. Always read the label before using a sanitizer and follow the manufacturer's guidelines for dwell time, personal protective equipment, and solution ratios. When using a sanitizer to clean electronics such as a copy machine or keyboard, you'll want to spray the sanitizer into a clean towel and then wipe it down as shown here. And of course, with proper PPE. And now, disinfectants. Disinfection kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria and viruses on a surface and requires a stronger chemical solution when compared to a sanitizer. Again, it is critical that the user reads and adheres to the manufacturer's guidelines found on the bottle. As with sanitizers, disinfectants are to be used on non-porous surfaces only. A wrap. Thank you for joining us today. Please visit us online for more resources surrounding the procedures and protocols around cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting, and PPE. You can also email us at rapidresponse at marinschools.org. Yay for gloves!